Welcome back, to maniacs. Holy shit, it's been a long time. I forgot how to make a YouTube video. I think it's it's definitely been over a month, and I apologize, but whatever, we're back. Um, in this last month, in case you missed it, Buttspot has died. R.I.P. Buttspot. I think it was 2015 to 2024, some shit. It had a good run. But what did we do? We took that time, and we made a replacement for it. You don't invite it to your chat like the old Buttspot. You actually use streamer bots. It's always in there. It's always live. What we're going to do today is figure out how to install it. It does require an external DLL that is available in the download link on my brand new website, which is linked down below. Um, import it into StreamerBot, set it all up, and then have some chaos. So without further ado, sit back, shut up, and follow the clicks. First thing we need to do is head over to the new fancy website. Link is down in the bottom. We'll actually send you directly to the Buttspot extension. Um, but from the home page, you're going to click on the streamer bot extensions we're going to look for twitch extensions and then not but spot chat word replacement self-explanatory um from here if you're more of a follow instructions instead of a follow a video type learner you can scroll down we've got screenshots typed out instructions down here um, i know that some people prefer it that way so i'm gonna try and get better about doing written instructions to go along with all my videos but to get started you just download it from ko-fi it'll direct you here you press get now and it'll show up in your downloads folder. For me, I've already got it downloaded, so I just need to find syllable library. Maybe, maybe if we could spell. Syllable library, there it is. And I'm gonna drag this onto my desktop to make it easier to find. And then I've already got the export code over here, so we're also going to drag that to my desktop. If I can find it, let's go not butts. There it is, and we're just going to drag it over here. Alright, so now i got both of my assets, if you will, on my desktop. From there, I need to open up streamer.bot. Could have preemptively done this. Looks like mine's still on beta, so let's go ahead and swap over to the stable channel real quick. Install it. If you didn't know, 0.2.4 is brings all kinds of features, which I'm not going to talk about in this video because we'd be here all damn day. However, there we go. We've got beta. Import. Wherever you downloaded the instructions to, and actually, we're going to back up a little bit. Before we launch it, there's something we need to do with that DLL. So, finding the folder that your streamer.bot is in. Me, I think this copy that we're using is right here on the desktop. We're gonna go to DLLs. Du, 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 du. Yep. All right. Take the syllable library DLL that you downloaded right here, and just drag it into your DLL folder. You'll see SB DLLs right here. Drag syllable library into this folder. That's all you gotta do. End of story. Then you open up your streamer bot. Wait for it to pop open, and here we are. Now we're going to the import string. Again, find wherever you downloaded it. For me, I'm going to drag it right in. You'll notice that the import is only three actions. Zero cues and one command. Um, it's going to make a whole lot of sense when we get over to it. So we're going to import. Letting you know it'll be disabled. Okay, got it. Cool. Uh, from here, we're going to go over to the commands. I'm going to type in the filter box up top here. Just put not buts. Um, this is the one command that we're going to use. It's called no buts. Or technically, we are not going to use it. Users will if they don't want their things butchered up. And now to filter this out to make it a little bit simpler. You'll notice the three actions that were referenced when we set it up. The not but setup. Exclude users and then the not but spot. So the setup is where we're actually going to get our bread and butter from. You'll notice these folders all have titles on them. Set word, probability replacement. This is where we're actually going to adjust our settings. So for the word, right now it's defaulted to but. Um, we'll just change it to bowels with a Z. Because it's funny. And now the rep set reply probability percentage. This is 
Um, basically, 100% would mean reply to every message. You reply to every message by butchering them up and inserting balls into the sentences. Um, obviously, tone that down. In testing, I had a, a user that had about 1,100 active chatters, and they had to turn it all the way down to 5%. Um, if you got a slower or less active chat, or if you just want it to spam your chat with balls, then keep this number higher. Um, 100 is the maximum on there though. The replacement level, um, this is our next setting. This is basically in the message that it replaces words on and or phenomes, which we'll talk about shortly here. One through five correlates to 10 to 50%. So it selects a message that it's gonna replace and then it will replace up to 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50% of the phenomes in that, not to exceed, meaning exactly half of a sentence is the maximum that it will replace if you have this set to five. Set full words to true. I'm actually gonna change this to false. Um, so this is a toggle here and basically what it does is this DLL that we brought into the folder is actually a phenome dictionary with 630 something thousand words in it. Um, when it decides to reply to a message, it'll go into that dictionary and try and find phonetic breaks in the words. What does that mean? Instead of just replacing syllables, it injects balls, in my instance, into the word where when you read it out loud, it'll make sense. So a word like distracted, distracted, the syllables could be replaced in there pretty easily with balls, but if you do not with the phenomes, it'd be like, Disballs did when you read it out loud. So it just makes it funnier. Whole lot of nerd for not a lot of reason, but that's what I did. So enjoy it. Broadcaster replies to true. Um, changing this default will mean that it'll never dice up any of your words as the broadcaster. I don't know. Some people don't want their words replaced with balls or injected with balls, but hey, for me, I think it's funny. So I leave that to true. You can, however, change its default. And then we got the no touchy code, self-explanatory. Says right here, don't open it. Um, for the other three act or two actions, I'm sorry. This is self-explanatory here. Exclude users. Um, so by default, I got some of the bots in there like stream elements and Ko-Fi bot and yada yada your bot. So that way it excludes it. Um, however, if there's a user in your chat that gets deeply offended or does not want their words minced up, they can type exclamation mark, no buts in the chat. You'll see it right here. And this will put them on an excluded list. The main code for the bot, one of the first checks that it does is if buts excluded user contains user. That means if they're on that list, it's just not gonna apply to them. And they can, you know, not have fun, I guess. But that's the, uh, the extra action, really. For the rest of it, there's no commands, no nothing to set up. Once you have your everything set up, then you'll just right click test trigger and you'll get greedy with the chat message. Um, I gotta switch bots here real fast since I have it in here twice. And make sure I've got everything the same that we just set up. You will be greeted by a message in chat that basically lets you know, hey, bots, bots in your chat. And Get it there. You'll see Balls Bot has entered your chat. Um, on mine, I actually need, let's turn that back up. I'm gonna turn it up to 100%. Um, my other one, you'll see a second message because I'm changing the setting. Now, this will just guarantee that it applies. For the example, I'm going to spell some multi, Billable words and hopes they get injected with my new funny word. Okay, now it's at 100 percent so I know it's gonna come through. For the balls balls, going to spell balls, multi-syllable balls, and hopes they get in balls with balls, new funny balls. So that is basically the settings at the maximum. Um the one thing to keep in mind is whether you have full words to true or false does not matter in the sense that if one of the words it selects to replace through its random logic 
is a single syllable word, it'll always replace the whole word. So you can have true word, or I'm sorry, full word set to true and or false, and it's still gonna replace the whole word if it's only a single syllable word. Um, this will work really well in English chats, um, for non-English speaking chats, aside from the 630 something thousand word um, syllable library, there's also a quick algorithm that uses consonants. Um, so hopefully that'll help. I haven't had too much testing in foreign languages with this bot. Please give me feedback and let me know if there's something that can be done differently. However, that sums it up. Now you can just type away. Hi, you suck at Maniac Bot. No, let's not add him. Let's just go. Hi, you balls, balls, Maniac. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny. You get the gist of it though. That's all there is to it. It's now up and running. We can go wreak havoc in the chat. Um, just know that anytime you want to adjust something on the fly, just change them in the setup and then right click and test the trigger. You're good to go. Again, down in the description, you'll see the link to the brand spanking new website with the full write up, which has the download from Killfly button and then written instructions in case you really can't stand my voice or you can't follow along. But for now, I appreciate everyone. Thank you all for watching my shitty content. Until next time, I'll catch you later, you fucking maniacs.